Hi, Jessica is here to have the wedding of her dreams. Hi, Jessica. Hi. W welcome. W uh, what's going on? First, I would like to say is I watch you every single day, and I love you so much, oh, and I'm just, so happy yeah. to be here today. Oh. But I'm already married. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. You're not yeah. here to marry me. Yes. Okay. So go ahead. Well, I'm here today yes. to marry my boyfriend, Stephen. I actually called oh, into the show. Oh, because, great. Yes, and this is going to be the happiest day of my life, and I'm so happy to share it with you. And oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. And why? And why did you, we're happy to have you, why did you decide to get married on the show? Well, I was watching one of the shows, and yeah. it said if you wanted to get married, to just call in, and I, this is my dream. I would love this. So yeah, I called in for sure. Oh, well, wonderful, yeah. 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 And we're all so cheaper. Okay, so how long have you been with your boyfriend? About a year and a half. Yeah. And we have one beautiful son who's oh, six wonderful. months old named Tyler. Well, yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Well, uh, congratulations uh, Thank with you. that. And the relationship going well? Everything good? Well, every relationship has its problems, you yeah. know. Sometimes we argue, and when we do, he gets distant. Oh. He won't talk to me for a few days or just blows it off, and we just pretend like it didn't happen, and we never talk about it. Oh, I see. But, uh, but you do love him. I do, with it, yeah. all my whole heart and everything. Yeah, well, great. Okay, and his name's Steven, right? Mm -hmm. Well, let's bring Steven out. Here's your again. Hi, Steven. Nice tux. No. <laughs> Welcome. How are you? Yeah, what, did you know that she'd be dressed in a gown? Yeah, uh, last night I went to go get it fitted and yeah. started thinking about everything oh. and realized I wasn't happy. Ooh. So, no, I don't want to marry you today. Why, is there something wrong? No, it's just you're always nagging at me about the past and won't let it go. Well, I wouldn't have to if you wouldn't break my trust. Well, if you I've, been, didn't. I've, I've been trying to gain that trust back. I don't know what to do. Well, I want you to know that I love you very much, even if you don't want to marry me today. So you had a change of heart yesterday simply because she doesn't give you space anymore, or she doesn't trust you, or? No, uh, just after a couple months ago, I talked to an ex, and when she was pregnant, it was just too much. The hormones, you know, and then her anxiety of that together, just, yeah. it was too overwhelming for me. Yeah. And I started texting my ex, and I was gonna go hang out with her, wasn't gonna have sex or anything with her. Right. And, and now, you know, I regret doing that. I hate myself for it. And I've been trying it every day to gain that trust back. Were you aware of that? Yes. Oh, okay, so this is what she's not letting go of. But it's like me trying to gain that trust back ain't working. And I don't know what to do. I don't know how to keep going. Well, every time I try to talk about it, you just say you don't ever want to talk about it. You don't want to bring it up. You don't want to give me closure on the whole subject of what you had done to me. I don't even know what really happened. All I know is the lies you've been telling me. They're not lies. I've been trying to tell you the truth, but you don't believe me on it. And we're always arguing about, about it all the time. Who's Christina? She's our uh, upstairs neighbor. Well, what does she have to do with this? <laughs> well, she's a little noisy sometimes. Yeah. Stomping upstairs, you know, and apartments are like cheap, so I mean, yeah, yeah. it's loud. And Jessica took our baby out a day, and she came down because I was banging on the ceiling to try and get them to quiet down. So yeah. she came down and opened up the door, and I was in my boxers, nothing else on, and. She said I look cute, so I was like, or thank you. So then she pushed me through the front door and closed it and started kissing on me. And, and there went the boxers. Yeah. 
I do want to apologize for that. I don't like her. It was just a, a quick thing. I shouldn't have done it. After everything we've been through together, after everything, and you just sat there and told me that I need to learn how to trust you more and that I need to let this go, but you your neighbor. Yeah. Here's Christina. revolving door. I'm single. I like to mess around. Yeah, you got five kids and how many baby daddies? Why did you do that? I mean, you, you know they Jerry, have a baby. Jerry, she's not a good neighbor. So you're you not a good mom. <laughs> you don't like her as a neighbor, so you sleep with her baby's yeah. father? Yeah. They, they, it's not a good, not a good home. Hmm. Always arguing. The walls are thin, baby girl. I can hear you crying all the time. He's always mad at you. You too friendly talking to everybody in front of him. What, because I talked to somebody next on the bus? You don't realize from he gets mad at thank you? you? You don't realize he get mad at you when you're talking to all these guys in front of him? Bitch, you a oh, what you oh. Oh. I don't know what you're complaining about because and somebody else has been after your man too. They was making out at a bonfire just last week. Who the hell is she talking about? Let's bring her out. We were at a bonfire. We were there to kiss. It went a little too long. Went farther than what we expected. So I'm what, sorry. are you gay? No. No. Well, obviously not. It was just a mess up. We got drunk. We were there to kiss, and we did it. It was just a one-time thing, and it won't happen again. Yeah, and I get drunk, but I never did nothing like that. I'm sorry. I really like you as a friend, and I don't want to ruin relationship between you and Steven, or, you know, hurt you and your baby. Steven, uh, I was wondering if I can have one more kiss to see if, uh... But you're not gay. No. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says. So, I, I mean, why was there this this kiss? I don't. I'm not sure. I would just. Got I drunk. mean, the kiss we, right now. <laughs> just, Let, to, just to get it off her shoulders, because it's not going to happen again. I don't want it to happen oh, again. Oh, this. So, just, <laughs> so that's it. That was the last kiss. Yeah. You're going back to being heterosexual. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he says. Do you love her? No. no. no I love my son, but Aww. I don't want to be with her anymore. <laughs> and I don't want to be with him, so. I forgave I you. Did right? you to me even when you cheated on me last time? I forgave you for our son. I've done all I can for you. I've given you my whole life. I've sacrificed so much for you. 
just so we could be together. This is what you do to me. You ruined our whole year and a half. For what? You could just tell me you weren't happy. I didn't know how to do it. You have no feeling for her? Not anymore, I don't. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.